Hello YouTubers, here I am back with another update and this time is an update on my Moleskine weekly notebook and this is a week on one page with a ruled page, a blank page on the other side. So I wanted to try it out and I've heard a lot of good things about this planner. I did a review and I will leave a link to that in the description box. So if you guys want to check it out, but I wanted to do a quick flip flip through of my current setup. So I have not filled out my information there. This is how I set up my August monthly um, events and whatnot. And I've already added a few reminders for upcoming things. So let's go to my monthly, I'm, I'm sorry, my weekly pages. And this is when I started using the planner. And then here was how I ended up using it last week. I did use my Signal white pen to write on washi that is uh, fairly dark. So I did a little bit of bullet journaling and just a little bit of reminders here. I was on vacation the beginning of the week so um, I think my bullet journaling is not going to be enough space here so I'm going to have to figure that out for next week. I did uh, decorate already and added some reminders as well. I bought these new tabs from the container store and they're super cute. I think it was Philo Fascination and I will leave their channel link below. They're the ones that showed them. I wanted them since they um, mentioned that they fit perfectly in the Philo Facts pages. So anyways, I got those. These are some cute post-its I got from Maria Palis Blue. And I will leave also her channel link below. And I am using the stickers that came with the planner. Really like those. So I've already, like I said, added some things um, for the entire month of August. So all the way to week 35. This is how my setup looks, and I'm really enjoying it. I do think that the pages are fairly thin. I don't know if you guys can see the shadow. Um, I did use the purple Coletto 0.4 for here, and there is um, a lot of shadowing. So I'm going to use some post-its on this week because that stuff kind of does um, bother me and I'm and like if you see this now I've used post-its here because I want to be more conscious of the fact that there is so much um, shadowing for the next week the pages are not white they are a cotton uh, cream uh, color and um, like I said they are very thin and if you uh, bend them, the bend is very noticeable. So I try to be careful with my planner. So there you go, guys. That's all I have uh, done for these two weeks of August in my planner. I really like it. But if you've been following me on Instagram, you know that I went ahead and purchased the Bando planner and I also purchased one to give away and it's um, all uh, nicely packaged for the winner make sure you enter the giveaway so I wanted to show you guys how that setup uh, looks right now so here is my monthly calendar and of course I didn't use it this two weeks and then this is how this week looks in here all right guys that is all I just wanted to do a quick planner update show you guys what I'm using 
and as you can see, my file effects is missing, but my file effects is still my number one reference for all my important information and all the things I worked on, all my projects and my, my everything is in there <laughs> versus this is just a weekly planner and a monthly planner. There is no way for me to add any of my any of the things I like to record other than these uh, special dates and holidays um, holidays that you can write down in here and here is the same thing I have a monthly spread in a vertical version and then I have some pages for planning and I have a little bit of pages in the back to write some notes so not much uh, space for tracking anything, uh, your expenses, tracking your health, um, you know, all those other things that I do in my file effects. So I will have a update for my file effects setup. Stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for watching this video again. I hope you guys enter the giveaway and good luck. Bye.